Welcome my dear friends. In this video, we'll show you how to fix boot loop and dead phone issues in Android. Well, these are possible root causes. We'll start with some basic solutions and in the later part we will focus more on fixing software related issues. Software issues mostly occur as a result of recent updates, rooting or flashing attempts. All these operations that I just mentioned can potentially corrupt these critical Android partitions. But relax, we're going to show you how to restore them back. Without further ado let's get started. Solution 1. Remove case and check power and volume keys. First of all, please remove the protective case. Sometimes it holds the power or volume key in a pressed position, and that could be a possible reason for your issue. Ensure the power and volume keys are proper and they are not stuck inside. Now restart your phone normally using power key and see if it fixes your issue. Solution 2. Charge your device sufficiently. Please double check that your charger and the cable is working. If you have doubts please try alternate charger and cable. After sufficient charging please try to turn on your device. Solution 3. Hard reboot with power and volume key. Please remove the power cable. If possible, please turn off your device and wait for a couple of minutes. Press and hold the power and volume down buttons for a few seconds. For some devices this key combination may slightly differ, please double check in Google. Once you see your device starting, please release the keys. Solution 4. Remove SD card. This could happen if your SD card has malicious software or it's corrupted. So please remove the SD card and then restart your device. Solution 5. Wipe cache partition in recovery. Please connect your phone to PC. Press and hold recovery key combination for your device. It differs for each model, for my case it's power and volume up key. If you're not sure, please search Google. Once you see the recovery screen, please release the keys. On your recovery screen you should use volume keys for navigation and power key for selection. Please complete wipe cache partition. Once done, please do reboot system now. Solution 6. Factory data reset. Please use the same steps in the previous solution until you reach the screen. Please select wipe data or factory reset. Once done, please select Reboot System now. Solution 7. Flash Stock ROM. Please connect your phone with the PC. Please press and hold the fast boot key combinations for your device model. If you are not sure please search Google. For my phone it's volume down plus power button. Once you are in download mode you can release the keys. In your PC, please go to the folder where you have Fastboot and ADBEXE files. If you don't have it, please download from this link. Once downloaded, extract the zip file contents to a directory. Please try to avoid long names and spaces in this path. Press and hold Shift key and right click on the empty space over here. Please open PowerShell and Command Prompt. Type fastboot devices and hit enter. You should see a device listed like this. Use this command to check bootloader status. Fastboot OEM device info. If your bootloader is already unlocked, you can recover the data in your Android device then flash your ROM. If it's locked, you will need to unlock your bootloader, and this will factory data reset your device and all user data will be deleted, so please proceed with caution. Steps for unlocking bootloader wildly differs for each model, so please search Google with XDA and your mobile model. And follow these device-specific instructions to complete bootloader unlock.
Now search Google and precisely download TWRP custom recovery image file for your device model. And place it in the same folder where you have ADB and Fastboot EXEs. We now need to execute this Fastboot boot command with your custom recovery file name. All these commands are available in the description. Please note we are not flashing boot partition, instead we are just temporarily booting into custom recovery. As a result, you should see your Android device booting into custom recovery. If it's asking for password, please provide the password that you use for screen lock. Once your Android is into custom recovery, please go back to PC. You can now back up your important files from your phone to PC. Please download custom or stock ROM for your device model. You should now move the downloaded zip file to your Android internal storage. On your phone, please select wipe from TWRP main menu. This wipe step deletes all user data, it's optional but recommended for better stability and compatibility. If you're worried about data stored in your device, you can try skipping this wipe step, and if that did not go well you can probably come back and retry the whole solution with this wipe step. Go back to TWRP main menu, tap on install and select the ROM zip file that you transferred to your device. Swipe to confirm flash. Once your ROM is successfully flashed, please select back button and then select reboot system. Solution 8. Flash stock images. Please get into download mode, if you don't know how, please refer steps in previous solution. On your PC, please use this command and check if your Android device supports AB partition. Search Google and download stock or custom ROM for your device model. Unzip the downloaded file. Out of these, you'll require the image files corresponding to these critical partitions. Bring the required files to the same folder where you have ADB and Fastboot files. Now execute these commands one after another. Please use these commands if your device does not support AB partition. Please use these commands if your device supports AB partition. Finally, please use fastboot reboot command to reboot your device normally. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.